Um, so in this case, um, I will go back to the home page because um, I'm looking for a dress. I'm going to tap on dresses. Ooh, very nice. So now we are on the page uh, within the dress category. On the top, we still have the sh uh, search, the switching view icon, and the shopping back. Then followed by sort, size, type, and filter. Um, and followed by that, there's like a couple of tags. For example, new, top rated, Sheen SXY. I'm not sure what it means. Probably different range, like Sheen Basics. Um, so those are probably some quick filters. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to quick browse. So it looks like it has like main image. You can tap on with this little heart. You can favorite or save something, uh, bookmark it, and followed by the price point name and also like different colors um, options uh, available. So I'm just going to keep browsing a little bit. I'm looking for something floral um, or colorful, like really bright summer, summer dress, I guess. Uh, ooh. Guys, I'm going to really try my best not to spend too much time browsing and getting into the actual shopping mode. Um, so let's say um, I love this little white dress with the little details in the shoulder and waist. So oh, it doesn't look like it has any promo. Wow. Well, this one, you know, you can tell the difference very clearly. Something at regular price. Uh, the price is made in like black font. Well, versus something, if it is a promo, there's a clear price tag in red, marked in red, and also the tag, like how much percentage, how much discount you are getting uh, comparing with the original price. Like this one is 21% 20, off, this one is 43% off. So yeah, that gives a really good reference point, I think. So um, let's take a look at this white, uh, this little dress, um, which is $8. 43% off. It has this little blue and white striped dress. Uh, feels very summer-like. It's a little bit than what I was already looking for, but I like the shoulder design. and looks like it has really good review. Um, so once you get into the items view, there are first is the image. Um, there are look like we have a couple of uh, pictures of how it looks like on this model. And uh, then followed by uh, the price. Eight dollar, wow! And the review looks like the rating is pretty high, and it has a good amount of review, five hundred and eighty one, um, and then has like the color option, blue and white or red and white. Hmm, those are cute. And check my size. Okay, then followed by what are the sizes available? Shipping options, delivery, estimated delivery. Okay, yeah, because um, um, that gives a good idea of how long this is gonna take and when I can actually arrive it, uh, receive it free return ex exchange matching styles interesting wow number one most popular in striped dress this is convincing um okay this is helpful followed by that we have model stats i was about to say like well this model looks like way more skinny than me and i'm not sure like what size should i go for and that's usually my number one question when it gets to shopping like is what is the size you know will have the best fit for me uh so this i think gives a really good reference point like for example here it says the model is wearing a size s us4 and the, the height, bust, waist, and have some information about the size of the model. That will really help me, I think, uh, to give me a reference point of what is the good size that I should choose. Um, then it goes by size guide and description with a couple of hashtag. Oh, style gallery, interesting. So it looks like there are probably like, uh, for folks who has purchased this item, um, like there are actually pictures and reviews posted about it. Um, so that really gives a good sense and followed by that there's options to view more with um, I think similar styles uh, or more recommendations on um, other items you might like so and I just realized also there's this subtle little text next to it uh, next to you may also like is often bought with so let me tap on it ah okay now it shows like some accessories like from bags uh, earrings necklace things that might go well with this Wow. Cool. So overall, I think this is a pretty smooth experience when it gets to shopping. It really is pretty comprehensive, the information we have here from uh, price point, uh, ratings, sizing guide, shipping information. If you want to read more about descriptions, I guess you can tap on here. Okay, now it has more details about, I think, 
the style, the material, fabric, and care instructions. So those are really helpful and I like the way actually when you tap on description, it doesn't actually leave the page. It's just like a pop-up bottom sheet overlay on the screen. So I can quickly go back to where I left. Um, so I think overall, this is a pretty streamlined experience. Um, in terms of like check my size, I think it gives a good reference point of giving sharing the models information. Um, but at the same time, let's take a look what is size guide. I see fit type, regular stretch okay so this is helpful uh what i find sometimes all interesting and all, uh, actually very useful is to see like how about the people who actually purchase it like what's their size how they feel about the fit so this information here like right below review 4.7 star this bar chart is actually really helpful to me like it shows like how many people feel it's true to size uh, sounds like here in this case, the majority of the shoppers, 95% feels this is true to size uh, versus like 2% and 3% um, feel either it's a little bit small or on the large fit. So I think this is really helpful. And I will probably check some of the pictures, how people actually like uh, the actual real shoppers, how it fits on them and how it, the actual merchants looks like and their review before I make the purchase. Um, so say in this case, I feel everything looks good to me. I'm going to purchase the size small, add to bag. Let's see how it works. Okay, looks like it's added to my bag and jump to recommended other items right away. Wow. So obviously I can continue shopping here or tap go back to go back to the home page. But this immediately jumping to next recommended um, reaction is pretty interesting. Um, now say I'm good, I feel like I'm just gonna go get this dress um, and continue looking at maybe other stuff uh, later. I just click the shopping cart where I can go for, oh, coupon alert. What is this? Tap on that. Ah, there are a couple of coupons I can uh, available. Uh, not available, why? Because 10% is uh, off is applying for others over 29 bucks. Now, that's really smart. I think this is gonna, in a lot of case, be a pretty strong motivation for me to go back and continue shopping to try to you know hit the bar so i can actually get a discount extra discount um and the coupon alert this icon is really eye-catching it's like this is the first thing what i get to stage that i see so i can't refrain just con uh, to click and find out what deals i have um, but overall i think this looks a pretty smooth experience say in this case i'm just want to take a look at the checkout experience so i'm going to go click checkout um where okay it shows shipping method um standard shipping express shipping how much it costs um and then it's the payment that's it but overall this looks like i think a really streamlined um design um i think from the actual ui it does feel a little bit busy like for example the header there's a lot like their sword their size but those are actually you can also debate those are very useful and common used functions when you get to shopping item and try to narrow down your choices so i don't really have much concerns on that um and those tags uh say for example i value like reviews a lot so i might tap on top rated and it automatically shows turn this icon to like uh, outline view so it's clearly this is selected and i can tap on that again to remove the uh, filter so i think visually this is really clear um, and intuitive um, so i think due to the time i'm gonna stop here if you guys are interested to look at more about this app please comment below and let me know the overall app experience is pretty streamlined and well designed um, a couple of just the quick sauce on things where it might be even to improve more. One, I think is, you know, as we look into the shopping specific items, like within flash sale, we weren't able to do like a quick categories uh, or find the, the, the category that I was looking for, especially for example, I was just looking for dress, but doesn't look like within sale or the flash sale, I uh, doesn't didn't allow me to filter uh, by category. So that I think can be something quick and easy uh, to help users be able to like shop and get to what they want uh, even faster. Um, the other thing is, you know, while we were looking at a specific shopping item, uh, it looks like it's just one model. Uh, 
wearing the dress and showing different views different angle um i feel like this might be like if we if it is possible to add a couple of options to show like different size different fit like different style people uh different type of uh users um people wearing the dress the item i think that might help me to get a better view of um you know depends on who you are like if i'm a plus size or more curvy size or if i'm pregnant or if i'm you know in a shorter or taller uh, range fit like how does it look um, how would it look on me you know I think just having one model it's kind of yes it looks super perfect and pretty on um, that model but I sometimes find a challenge to see myself in it um, so maybe having a variety uh, of uh, different user groups different people wearing it can help uh, make it feels more relevant um, yeah, I think uh, one other thing is I think when gets to review, what I find really helpful is the size, like how people, uh, how the actual like shoppers who purchase this item feel about the fit. Um, I wonder, like sometimes I also wonder about fabric, like also like how to care, like how to, is it hand washed or machine washed? Like how do people think about those elements? I think to have a little bit more insight from uh, the data from the actual like user reviews can make this even more helpful. Uh, so in terms of the fabric, the material, uh, or how the color actually feel comparing with the actual picture. So maybe a bit more data, uh, and make it like simple like data visualization like what we see true to size 94 5 percent that kind of information i find is always used um very useful um as a user perspective so um but overall i think the shopping experience is pretty streamlined and obviously with the amount and already this app is being ranked at top number one shopping apps in the app store um is definitely impressive so i am curious to see where it goes and uh, also let me know how how you feel about this app and if there's any critiques or things you like or didn't quite like or things that you think you might be able to improve so let me know and hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time bye mm -hmm.